So what is going on, Melanin Fitness Nation? You would not believe who I have in the hot seat. The strong man himself. That dude that you always see throwing up some weights and has the best smile ever, right? Steven, what is going on? I am super excited to put you in the hot seat, right? But before we get started, I need you to do me a favor. What's up? I'm going to put you on the clock. All right. In one minute. I want you to tell us any interesting fact about yourself or anything in general. It could be not so interesting if you don't want it to be. You have a 10 second countdown. I've already started the timer and you get to start the party. Three, two, one, go. All right. So Steven here, I was born with Earth's palsy and do everything with one hand as far as fitness, life. Uh, I love tacos. I love to cookies. Um, you tell me we got that at the party. I'll be there in a heartbeat. Um, been doing CrossFit for over six years. I've been doing fitness for over 10 years. I played semi-pro basketball once upon a time. I mentor, develop different boot camps and leadership programs. And I'm a traveling fitness fanatic doing obstacle course races such as Spartan races and Tough Mudders. Uh, I plan on going to Australia for a wild CrossFit competition in September on top of five other ventures, back to back to back to back to back weekends. Uh, pray down, get crazy jack lag with that. Um, I miss my people. So you send an invite, I'll be there. All right. If not, I'll be there next week. Let me know. Uh, let's see. Five, four, three, two, one. Um, I need sleep. <laughs> Done. That's it. That's it. Oh my gosh, Stevie, you did good. You did good. And I do know your love for tacos is real. Okay. We do know your love for tacos. Taco too. So Stevie, let's talk. Like, let's talk about your fitness journey. Like, talk about it. Like, I know about <laughs> <laughs> I yes. know about your fitness journey, but share your fitness journey with the people. What can you tell them Ooh. about your fitness journey? Uh uh really didn't start till I guess after college um didn't know what fitness was yeah I could go to the gym and look like I'm know what I'm doing but didn't know damn thing so uh just go to the gym had a trainer trainer didn't know exactly what to do with the arm so we just run and work with dumbbells and this and that I knew there was more to life than just that and I knew there was a way for me to get there so uh, a lot of trial and error, just trying to figure stuff out. You no, know, didn't come across you no know, CrossFit or functional fitness until like 2016. And then 2017, I found that, oh, there's competitions with CrossFit and all of this. And 2018, I started that journey with the Open and found the adaptive division, the uh, worldwide. And it's been a wild journey since um, going from athlete to coach um, to mentor. Um, to the programmers, and it's it's a wild thing. Nice, I like. So, Stephen, my next question for you is: What fitness advice would you give someone, as an athlete, as a coach that you are, about starting their fitness journey? Uh, just wake up and go. Uh, it literally is that simple. Um, you might have your fears, you might have your doubts. But you got to take one step in order to start walking, right? So just get up and go. Nice. I like that. I like that. So tell us one of your favorite movies. Favorite movies? Oh, my God. Uh, you want a different genre or any? No, no. Fa- favorite move. Your favorite move. Favorite move. Oh, they said movies. 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 <laughs> favorite move as far as fitness, uh, CrossFit has to go to the wall balls. Hmm, okay, okay. It's, it's out Least there. Least favorite. Different. Least favorite? Ugh, split jerks. <laughs> okay. I don't like jerks. Okay, 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 I like that. So if you had to say in the next, I don't know, three to five years, where you see yourself as an athlete, and a coach. Yep. What are two things that you see? I see myself developing a good program that I could you know, use for my facility and online, helping others all around. 
um, all around fitness and um, adaptive. Everybody doesn't matter. I'm helping everybody. Um, hopefully starting and working remotely so I can be able to reach out to more people and travel. So if I can travel and uh, work out with you, coach you, train, just let me know. I like it. I like it. So tell us how, I guess, Melanin Fitness Nation or even just people of color can provide more support for adaptive athletes. Just show up and be there and work out with us. I mean, we're a community, we're family. Everything is supposed to be inclusive, so why not do it together? Mm -hmm. Okay. And talk to us about what your thoughts are on the adaptive community when it comes to CrossFit. Oh, it's... Now, you knew I was going to ask you that question, Steven. You knew we yeah, were not yeah. going to not have this conversation. We of have course. not talked in a long time. It's been so, a while. You it's know, been, we got to catch been, up on this it's been going some directions lately. I mean, yeah, we got the CrossFit Games going on right now. Um, I wish we had more athletes competing, and I wish the standards and everything would be different. Um, and it's only the third year that the, that the uh, athletes been to the CrossFit Games. Whereas um, outside, I mean, the that the CrossFit has been around since basically the beginning of CrossFit. Um, we're just now seeing a face with it now at the games where I compete with the Wilwad games, um, originally started in Canada and now we're competing in Raleigh. So the Wilwad games will be in November 30th through December 3rd. So we got a little legit four day competition. It's, it's the games. Uh, we got 13 divisions competing as far as like different disabilities where you got the upper one point doing everything with just the one arm or upper two point if you have two points of contact. And I mean, there's more than just one disability out there. You know, there's more than just like, oh, I'm missing an arm, but I could do this with this arm or this with the other part of my arm and whatnot. Um, but just getting the knowledge out, CrossFit hasn't been really, you know, communicating and actually there for the community, um, which is why I still have my little mixed feelings with like the business side of CrossFit. Um, that's why I'm doing more stuff with the community. You know, I'm doing more local comps, just showing up and uh, showing out. Um, just getting my name out there and reaching out to more and more people. So even like this year, I've been to like five different events and gotten people just through word of mouth, you know, reach out to me and you know, work out with them and stuff. So i got a new friend that I met up in North Carolina. That, again, I'm a phone call away. Just let me know and I'll show up and we're going to make it happen. Nice. I will be back in Atlanta. No worry. I'll I was, be there. You know I was going to call you. How did you know I was going to say that? I'm, I'm, I'm coming. Uh, it's been a busy year this year. <laughs> I'm not slowing down, though. So these next few years, I got I got a lot of things happening. So just for anybody that is listening to this and has no idea what me and Steven are talking about, because we're having like a full conversation interview-wise, and then we're having a sidebar conversation personal-wise, because we're really catching up as well. Um, Steven was actually one of the foundational people in starting this movement. So we started out with like, I don't know, what do we have, like seven group leaders or like, something like that? Like seven, eight of us, um, yeah. Yeah, and we just kind of started and they were really influential when it came to the growth of Melanin Fitness Nation. We were kind of finding our footing, which was at that time we were Melanin CrossFitters. So mm -hmm. um, huge thank you to you for that. Um, and we've kept in contact ever since. We haven't had tacos yet, but it's I'm tough. sure that it's come for sure, for sure. So, okay. So we're going to go to the next part of our interview, right? Sweet. The next part of our interview is called Turning Tables. And this is going to allow you to ask me any question that you want me to answer. And I don't know if I really want to do this, but <laughs> I'm going to just go ahead and do this because you're Steven and okay. it's all love all the time anyway. So tell me what you got, Steven. What, you, what do you have? Okay. Uh, what is the next Melanin Fitness Nation event that people should be looking out for? Um, we are actually going to be hosting yoga on August the 8th at Savage Society CrossFit at 6 p.m., which is a Tuesday. Love it, love it. Um, how can people reach out and be a part of Melanin Fitness Nation? So really, any anyway, like if you are in the group and you are sharing the group with other people, they might not be CrossFitters. They mm -hmm. can be people that are solely a part of a HIIT training class or they're solely a part of 
kickboxing, as long as they're a person of color, they can definitely join our private Facebook group. They can even join our like page if they are ally. They can also come to our events and they can volunteer. We are looking to host another competition June the 30th. It's going to be a team competition. So we're always in need of some type of volunteers to be able to connect. Um, we are getting, we are working on and getting ready to launch our 12 week program. So we are going to be looking for virtual coaches to be able to hire. So we're not talking about people volunteering their time. We're going to write you a check, um, or we're going to deposit the funds via Zelle or PayPal to your account to be able to work with us. Um, we're also doing different things such as partnering clients with coaches, coaches with clients, clients with gyms. So feel free to join um, the coaches list because I literally just had the opportunity to place like, I think recently I've placed three athletes with coaches. Um, so that's something that we're doing consistently on a um, consistent basis. We just need people to tap into our resources in our network and just get the information. There it is. Okay. Um, <laughs> next <laughs> All right, just for you, what is your favorite taco? Mahi Mahi, corn tortilla with a uh, coleslaw and spinach on top with a uh, vegan sour cream. Done. I like to switch up, keep it clean, keep it clean. Uh, let's see, next, anything next, anything next. What is your favorite? workout you've done if you have a standard or favorite movements combination of movements in the crossfit world whatnot you know to be honest i am at the point in my crossfit venture that i don't really not like moves and my body might tell me today i don't like this move for the most part i'm cool with all moves right. Like, to be honest with you, and I never thought I would get to this point, but I'm cool with all moves, to be honest. So yeah. um, moves that I probably don't care to do so much of now, um, probably a barbell snatch, even though I like snatches, whether that's barbell or dumbbell, but I prefer not to do those in a workout. Um, also heavy deadlifts since I went out a couple years ago. Well, it's been a while ago now, but I messed up my iliopsoas. Um, and it kind of came to head when I was doing a deadlift. Um, but I did PR that day. I had 405. Let me just be clear. Okay. Ooh. Um, so I think like deadlifts, heavy deadlifts in a workout, I'm kind of like not a fan and I'm just like completely going to avoid it like the plague. So probably like anything over like 250 ish, I'm out for yeah. a workout. Like if we're just talking about strength, I'm cool with it. Okay. Yeah, definitely uh, into the strength more than the, the conditioning. I'm, I'm always bouncing back and forth. Depends on the seasons and all of that. Mm -hmm. all right, cool. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Anything else? I know I'm used to you no know, answering the questions. Man, I gotta, I gotta start. Yeah, see, that's what you get. <laughs> uh huh. All right. Uh, anything else? What is one thing you would like to see out of Melanin Fitness Nations? between now and say five years? We are definitely going to have a gala. We're gonna have a gala where everybody shows up in a black fire fair. We're gonna be swag surfing together. And let me tell you, I told somebody this a couple of days ago on our interview as well. We're gonna be swag surfing. So we're gonna be okay. able to go back and look at this video and say, wow, we were swag surfing for real. So mm -hmm. just fun. We got our sneakers on, we got our fitted caps on, we're bringing the culture, we're bringing the flavor and we just have okay. a really good time. That's really what I'm looking forward to, our gala, to be able to do something outside of our workout clothes. Oh, all right. Hey, now I got about real people clothes now. <laughs> okay. Yes, get out of that athletic attire. Yes. I'm, I'm going to get ready. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> that's all the questions I could think of off the top of my head. <laughs> Thank you so much, Stephen, for sharing space with me, for catching up with me, for letting me know your thoughts about CrossFit. It's always, always, always good to connect with you outside of you telling the athletes no rep, okay? Um, so <laughs> I definitely appreciate sharing space with you today. And thank you so much for sharing the adaptive community because I think a lot of times people think just because they have some type of impairment um, or disability that they're not able to do things. And I think okay. people like yourself and like Troy and so many other athletes, um, Deanna are out there and you all are really putting in the work. And I a thousand percent commend you all for all the great work. 
But outside of that, I feel like you all have to be educators and you all have to be educators often. And I thank you for your ability to be able to educate um, and not like, you don't even lose your zeal. Like you educate and you just move on like, with the biggest smile ever. So I appreciate you for doing that as well too. Thank you so much, Man. Steven. Until I can get you back online and get more tea from you, I guess we'll have to conclude our meeting here. All right. <laughs> All right we'll talk over tacos. Hey, just let me know. <laughs> Later, Steven. Take care.